Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install every PSP emulator in one application on your PSP. So this thing is super awesome. It was made a couple of years back, so maybe a few of the emulators aren't completely up to date, but all of them are working. So if you guys are interested, all you need is custom firmware. Go ahead and connect your PSP to your PC using USB connection, and I'll show you guys what to do next. Alright guys, so once you're on your PC, I will leave a link to this software in the description. And basically guys, it's called Emuloader CF Plus. So I believe this is the latest version. Now basically, what this is guys, um, before you download it, if you just check this out on Google Drive, if you go into the PSP folder, then go into the game folder, then go inside Emupack, then go inside of MU. These are all of the emulators um, in this one emulator. So basically you can run all of these emulators from one thing. So you can run Doom, Capcom Play Systems, um, even has, I'm not quite sure what that is, I'm not even too sure what some of these are. It has Master Boy, Atari, N64 emulators, tons of awesome emulators in here. There's just one thing to note, um, these don't come with ROMs, so you will need to get your own ROMs. Also, um, each emulator in here um, might not be the latest version, just keep that in mind. For most of them, like Doom and the Atari, it probably will be. Maybe for the Nintendo 64 emulator, there might be a more recent one, but pretty much all of these emulators still work. And if you did want to update one, all you do is download the latest version and simply replace it. But anyway guys, once you've got the complete pack, all you want to do is just click the download button. What this is going to do is just download the zip file to your downloads folder. So just leave that to download. I can't remember the size, but I know it's not too big because I had it on my PSP. So just wait for this download and when it's finished, I'll show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so once the download has complete, all you have to do is just head over to your PC's downloads folder and make sure your PSP is connected. Now with the file, all you want to do is right click and then select extract here. Now what you want to do, you want to drag across the emulator. So go inside the PSP file, go inside the game file, go inside this one, MU pack, and actually, let's just check. Yep, this is the one you want to drag across. So you want to drag MU pack into your PSP's game folder. So it's about 100 megabytes in total, um, as you can see right there. So just wait for this to copy across. Give it probably about, I don't know, four minutes, depending on your PC speed. Mine might be finished quicker. But yeah, once it's done, um, I'll show you guys over on my PSP, and I'll show you guys how cool this thing is. Right, so back on your PSP, all you want to do is just scroll over to your game section, then go on your memory stick, and here you will be able to find the emulator. So I'm just going to find it real quick. Okay, so it's this one right here. Just says MU pack. Uh, just press X to launch into it. So give it a few seconds to load. This was actually in the Neo Flash um, competition of 2008. So going back a bit now. But as you can see guys, it's in. And look at all these emulators we've got on the side. So we've got Amiga, um, a few Amstrad ones, Atari, loads of Atari emulators, um, Capcom Play System. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, maybe some of these are retro. We've got Doom. Uh, loads of other emulators, Game Boy Advance, um, Game Boy Color, um, I'm not sure what that game is, we've got Hexen, so yeah, tons of really cool stuff in here, and all of these are working, um, what else have we got, NES emulator, Quake emulator, Sega emulator, SNES emulator, so yeah, as you can see, tons of awesome emulators, This all these all work um, completely fine, as I say, they might not be the latest version, but they all work. Um, all you have to do is just add ROMs to them. I don't think any of them come with ROMs. Uh, games like Quake and stuff, you can just load that up. Um, games like, I'm actually probably just going to load up Doom just to show you guys. Um, obviously when you want to add a ROM to it, all you do is just right click, new folder, call it ROMs, and then just drag all of them in. Some of them already have ROM folders and you just need to drag the ROMs in, so it's very simple. But anyway, all you do is just press X to launch the game. And then obviously it will just launch the emulator. So this is really cool if you don't want to clutter your PSP um, to have sort of all um, games in one emulator. Um, to have all emulators in one app. Um, yeah, this thing's really cool. So as you can see, Doom loads up perfectly fine. Um, I was actually kind of pleased when I found this. Um, 
I don't think um, there's a later version. I couldn't find a newer version. The newest version was 2008. So yeah, if someone was to sort of revive this and um, you know make it a lot better, um, put all the latest versions in. Well, the PSP scene is kind of dead now, I have to admit. Um, that is why it's so hard making these videos, having to find new stuff all the time. But anyway, guys, um, if you enjoyed this video, um, I did actually do a poll recently, and the most popular thing was PSP, so that is why I'm making this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.